So one of my chickens here has a case of chronic bumblefoot. And this foot is healed and it's been healed for a couple months. But you can tell that she has chronic bumblefoot because she kind of like never gets rid of this like red sort of like inflammation look and this like scabby look to it. Now it's been basically completely healed, but if she didn't have chronic bumblefoot, this would be the um uh, the first signs of like bum a bumblefoot infection starting. But she has chronic bumblefoot and it kind of like never really goes away. And I'm actually gonna have to be buying her some special chicken shoes to help treat it and keep it away. Um, but this other foot here has a current bumblefoot issue going on and she's had this current issue for a while. We've been to the vet and basically she can get surgery done or she can keep her foot wrapped and getting soak treatments for a long period of time and hopes hopefully that will help it eventually go away. Right now it's basically a scab and like a weird callus formation. As you can see, it's like coming off on my hand. It's pretty gross. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna wrap this foot and hopefully that will bring her some relief and help heal this up closed a little bit more. Right now it's like basically just like a weird scab. I'm not gonna pick at it because it's important for her to heal on her own. I don't wanna introduce any more bacteria to this. Um, by the way, the bacteria that causes um, bumblefoot is staph. So you kinda wanna be careful when you're messing with this. And anyway, how I treat this is usually I will um, I will wrap it up with vet wrap and um, I'll usually put some sort of antibacterial cream on there that will keep it um, moist because um, keeping it moist can actually help it heal faster. Because um, my girl's legs are actually kind of dry and that's actually why, um, that's probably why it's easy for her feet to get micro cuts for staff can get to get into it. But like I said, I'm going to get her some fancy chicken shoes and that should help her. But yeah, this is what chronic bumblefoot can look like.